Hi everyone, this is Lee from wildplantforager.com and today I want to introduce you to cat's ear, also known as flatweed. And as you can see, this is a dandelion look-alike, but it has one huge difference and as you can see here, it has a forked stem, so it can have two or more flowers on one stem, whereas dandelion always has one flower on each stem. And here you can see the leaves and they are also quite different. Here you can see the dandelion leaves. They're all dandelion leaves even though they look a little bit different but they're all dandelion. And here I have lined up some cat's ears leaves and the main difference, there's a little difference in the shape there as you can see, but the main difference is that these plants have hairy leaves and dandelions always have smooth leaves. They actually may remind you a little bit of the inside of a cat's ear. This is why they are called cat's ear. And um, you can really, you can just feel them. And if you rub the leaves of dandelion, you can really feel that there are not any hairs at all. So this is a good way to tell the difference. And another way to tell the difference is that Dandelions mostly flower in May and when dandelions are finished then cat's ears start to flower and it's really now it's June here and this is really their time to flower. You can eat them both so you can use flat wheat the same way you would use dandelion. You can use the roots in, um, in winter you could roast them and make like a a coffee replacer or you can cook the root and eat them like that. You can eat the leaves before the plant flowers and um, they are a great addition to salads or to green juices. And you can also, and this is now really the time, these are the flower buds. You can either pickle them or just eat like, like they are. And if you pickle them they really can be replaced, um, they can be used as capers. So. That's really a great way to use them. And the flowers can be eaten like that in salads or you can turn them into fritters. Or one other way is to make a cat's ear lemonade. I'm going to post a video about that tomorrow. And um, they really are quite tasty and they are less bitter than dandelion. So it, they may be a very good wild edible for starters. And they are very well known at the Italian and Greek and even Korean cuisine. So they are really worth a try. And they grow everywhere. They are really a wheat that grows just everywhere. So I really encourage you to try it. And uh, eat the flowers are really delicious. And they are a great addition to your diet. So that was that folks. See you in the next video. Bye.